Heavens, it lives. Do you know that it's not moved since we went out? Well, that's not true, actually. I've just had a world-class scratch. Oh, David. Mm -hmm. It's a basic human right. How was your uh, ninjutsu class? You get to use your nunchucks. It's called Pilates, and it was extremely invigorating. Invigorating, eh? Get her? Yeah, it's a new favourite word. Well, it is invigorating. Uh, me and Max think that we should have a barbecue. No chance. Sounds too much like hard work, that. Well, you could always invite Shona. Well, if Max has got his art set on it. You are so transparent. I'm not saying a word. Well, but your eyes are kicking me in the what's it? No, honestly, you can do what you like. I wash my hands. I'm going over to your grand's. What about you? Do you fancy a barbecue? Yeah, um, it'll have to be later, though. I've got that parent support group. Which she doesn't want me to come to. Mum, how many times? I just think I could help. Hello? Us. No, I haven't had a car accident. Well, it'd be pretty difficult, considering I don't own a car. I just want to know he's OK. Well, you binned him off, Sarah. What the heck would he be ringing you for? What's true? Oh, the sensitivity of a grapefruit. OK, they call it a covenant, all right? The money gets invested into an ISA account under Clayton's name. 24 months after he's released, the money becomes his. But not if he commits another offence? No, if he breaks the conditions of his licence in any way, can't touch the money. He has to be free from drugs. Mm. Uh, that's the deal-breaker. Well, imposing a drugs test might be problematic, but I'll look into it. Big question. How much? Six thousand. That's your entire winnings, yeah? And I want him to have the lot. <sighs> I think a more kind of agreeable figure would be, you know, 50 per cent. No, look, if I hold any back, I'll just waste it. At least this way I know that the money can make a real difference. Shona... Look, six thousand, not a penny less. OK, it's your life. Let's get some more details. You gonna get that? Uh, no. Sure? I'm sure. Where were we? OK. I bet you're still buzzing. <laughs> yes, yeah. I feel to hardly touch the ground. That's a nice one. Mm. Look, I, I, are you sure I'm not boring you with this? No, of course not. <sighs> such a shame that uh, Rita couldn't make the registry office. <sighs> what with her being such a close mate of yours. Yeah, indeed. Mary looks lush there. So, um, I was everything with her and Jude after my big gob landed her in it. They talked. Oh, she'd be made to wear a gag. Mary knows you're sorry, and, well, strangely enough, it's probably for the best. Really? So she don't hate me? Not in the slightest. I've got enough haters in my life without adding her to the list. Rita doesn't hate you. Look at that one. I had no idea Dev was such a good photographer. <laughs> Morning. Morning. I'll be uh, getting to work then. Thanks for the look, sir. Right. Bye. None of your concern. You are being ridiculous. Who oh, said the man who got married so he could enter a competition? Oh, well, you made your point clear about that one by not coming to the ceremony. For the last time. I didn't do it on purpose. Oh, really? And I'm a monkey's uncle. Not for you. What's up? I was just wondering if you had anything from Gary yet. I was going to ask you the same thing. Has he not been in touch? No, not even a text. That's weird. Tell me about it. I need this stress like an hole in the head. Yeah, you and me both. I don't even care how much money he's earning. It's just not worth the grief. You do think he's all right, though? Yeah, of course. I, you would have heard otherwise. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. 
I best make a move. Yeah, all right. See you later. Yeah. Um, Izzy. You know, um, when he does get home... After I've given him the mother of all ear bashings, you'll be the first to know. Right, I'm off to work. See you later. What, on a bank holiday? Beggars can't be choosers. Tim's out tonight. How about I cook us a nice tea? Whatever. Gina, I've said I'm sorry. Let me make it up to you. Well, I have had a hankering for a Thai green curry. <laughs> right, Thai green curry it is. Well, I'll get some nice wine. Great, it's a date. And Gina, I'm glad you're keeping busy. Well, that's a definition of work. <laughs> you know what I mean. Actually, I don't. Oh, forget it. No. Let's hear it. Well, I simply meant that I realise things get difficult for you and I'm glad that your mind's occupied. Why are we suddenly talking about my mind? We're not. Look, I'm on your side. That's not what I asked. OK, I... I just worry that... Well, that you're not coping as well as you're making out. I'm sorry? I went into your bedroom the other day and it did seem a little... A little what? Well, for want of a better word, chaotic. You so haven't got a clue. She'll come round, love. You weren't there. It's like there's no connection anymore. Excellent. Now, getting back to the road, sir, we... So, we, talk to her. It's not that easy. Look, you're like a daughter to Rita. Yeah, more like a complete stranger. Honestly, I'm feeling lower than whale poo. Actually, if you want low, you should try my current stuff. Right, I'm 26, the... yeah? Mm. Single, permanently smell of grease, and I'm keeping on a mate of a mate so far. It's hardly living the dream, is it? Well, it could be worse. Ow! Well, you could be in poor Chesney shoes, for starters. Yes, which brings us once again to my ongoing staffing problems. Now, as I oh, was I... saying... Yeah, well, I don't suppose the Gemma works here. You looking at her? Nah, don't think so. Sorry? You should be. Talk about totally overrating yourself. That's peculiar. <sighs> no, that Cathy is my life. Morning. I had a site meeting in the area, so I thought I'd drop by. Why? So you can belittle Robert in person? Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. I was a. Uh... Out of order, and I'm sorry. Oh, all right. Hey, I was in the area. And you couldn't keep away from my cooking. <laughs> you got me. Hot off the press. Come on, then, please be good. Uh, all right, page 14, here it is. Well, don't leave me hanging. Uh, no, so far, so good. Apparently, my poached scallops are on fire. <laughs> oh, you were walking funny. <laughs> uh, superb service, enthusiastic staff. Unbelievable. What? What is it? See for yourself. Oh, why have they called you Nick? Well, maybe because it's written in massive letters on the sign outside. So this is just to get us into the right headspace. Sarah, we'll do it together. Okay, then. When you feel ready, I just want each of you to... Let go and fall back. Well done. Don't be afraid. Oh, just a second, Sarah. Sorry, I got held up. No, we're glad you could make it. <sighs> and your name is? I'm Gary. I'm, uh... I'm with Sarah. Well, Gary, you're just in time to catch her. Yeah, please, join in. You all right? Ah. Oh, a text or a phone call, nothing. Yeah, sorry about that. Sorry. I've been through hell. This is taking forever. There isn't a block in the hose. You can see the water running. I'm not blind. <laughs> you must be to be wearing those dodgy looking shorts. You took your time. Hiya, Munchkin. 
Hey, but I know it was a pool party to all my cars, eh? Oh, really? I can see if Sarah's got enough want. Yeah, I was kidding, David. Yeah, I knew that. Haha, <laughs> then why are you drooling? <laughs> Careful. <gasps> Sorry! <laughs> you nearly went in. <laughs> what have you been doing today, then? Oh, um, listen that, nothing exciting. Uh, Shona, can I get you a glass of wine? I'm um, good with it, any thanks. Um, I brought some burgers and sausages in the back of the Oh, you're a lifesaver. I'll have this ready for you in a minute, darling. Honestly, it's like filling the gang, can you? Uh, I think I can spot the problem. You can hold that. Well, I kind of need the water for the pool. Oh, <laughs> we kind of need you to belt up. Uh, you've got a tear in your pool, hence the big puddle of water on the floor. Well, that makes plenty, it? Mm. Whoops! Oh. Ah. <laughs> you did not just do that. <laughs> oh. I think I'd better be going. <laughs> oh, Gail, look, if you're leaving because of me... No, no, I uh, already had other plans. Yeah, well, even so, you know, I think no, I should no. go. I want you to stay. So does everybody else. Just don't wreck the garden. <laughs> Thank you, Claire. It sounds really positive. Sarah. Sorry. Perhaps you could tell us how things are going. Once again, if you can avoid any specifics related to your daughter, that would impact the case. Yeah, of course. Um... Well, I've, uh, I've got great support at home. My mum and brother, they're, like, always there for us. It's not to say it hasn't been tough, especially the last few weeks. Tough in what way? Sarah, this is a place to unload. I just, I could have done without the extra stress. Especially when my focus should have been on Bethany. Life gets in the way sometimes. Yeah, so do people. I can see that's upset you. Are you able to tell us about it? <sighs> I'm just really scared that I'm gonna take my eye off the ball again. You feel you took your eye off the ball before? Yeah, I could have done more. I... I could have sorted a, a home of our own for her. And I know people say, oh, you shouldn't blame yourself, but nothing happens in isolation. Yeah, maybe I am to blame, because I'd, I didn't give her the stability that she needs. <sighs> I just I wish, and I know, obviously, this can't happen, but I just wish that... I could take her pain away. It's just as simple as that. Keep putting your foot in it. Nah, you're just being honest, love. I really need to understand her condition. Well, keep your wits about your foot like Jeannie. You give him an inch to take a foot, you give him a foot to chew your chuffing leg off. Can't see it anywhere. Dev, mm. do you have this fresh this summer? She's quite fussy. Mate, there's no demand for it. Deb, I can't see my special fizzy water. All right, well, I shall go and check around the back, shall I? Yeah, won't be a minute. Oh, thanks. I know it's pricey, but you can really taste the difference. That'll be the unicorn tears. So, can I get you a vice? Yeah, of course, far away. OK, someone wants spaghetti carbonara. Do I get it ready-made or try and make it myself? Oh, fresh, every day of the week. Preferably organic. I know, but she's a really good little cook. What if I don't get it right? Oh, it's an easy thing to do. You can't even boil an egg, me. Just play the helpless card. Get her to cook it and ask if you can watch. She'd love to feel superior to us. Ah, uh, yeah, I could even dress it up as a cookery class. Well in. Yeah. Any joy? You little biscuit! You right, Dev? Right. <laughs> Just gotta go. OK, I, you know, I know I promised your sister that I'm going to store it for her here, but I haven't got enough room to swing a cat back there. Store what? I've no idea. She told me she'd sold all this stuff. She lied to me. I'm just second-guessing myself all the time. Sorry, do you mind if I just, uh, if I just chip in here? Yeah, feel free, Gary. 
Look, I'm not having a pop bed, but you're your own worst enemy. Emma? Yeah, you are. She's always too hard on herself. Oh, Carrie, let us speak, Sarah. She does so much, but in her head, it's never enough. And you, uh, you talk about failing Bethany. Well, you couldn't fail her if you tried. Or Harry. And whatever life throws at you, there's been a shed load in the last two years. You always bounce back stronger. And it's one of the things I love most about you. Sorry, this uh, sharing malarkey is not really my thing. You seem like a natural to me. So, he lives with you, but you're not together. Exactly. Isn't that a bit awkward? No, not anymore. He gets to see loads of Jake, and it's not like I don't need the help. And you're never tempted. No, we're just mates. Yeah. Sounds fascinating. <laughs> hey, you don't mind me being so nosy? No, not at all. Hey, you don't mind me nicking one of your yogurts, do you? Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what have I done now? It's what you haven't done that concerns me. I told you sold all this stuff. You lied to me. Gina, I'm just trying to understand. You're trying to embarrass me more, Mike. Well, I'm not here for an argument. I've been reading up on your condition, and it's not uncommon to have compulsive and excessive spending issues. Sperm in a bargain basement diagnosis. You know, Robert R5 calls it a glorious scattering of money. What? Just because you've been on the internet, you're an expert now. You have no idea what my life is like, so. Especially when we're living under the same roof. Oh, well, throw me out then! I don't care! Why did you have to make everything into a confrontation? Why are you always on my case? Because I care about you. You could have fooled me. You lied to me, Gina. Take responsibility for that. I'll take responsibility when you stop patronising me. Do you know what? You've made an effort. Any uh, closer to a decision? Mm. Almost there. What is there to decide? Just talk me through that chic stack surprise thing again, will you? Are you for real? Afternoon. Oh, I've got this one. How may I help you? Are you the only gemmer who works here? Last time I checked, why? Some at the matter? Yeah, there is, actually. You ought to be done under the Trade Description Act. What are you on about? This. That's not me. <laughs> yeah. No kidding, Sherlock. No, I mean, I, I didn't create that. Yeah. Someone set me up. Yeah, I've heard that one before. And you, a Beyonce like back end with trunk space to spare, was too good to be true. Wait up! You should work in advertising. It wasn't me! You need proper help. Someone set me up. I don't suppose if you get that like, kebab, could I? Oh, I'm on that way. No, another unsatisfied customer. Let me guess, he didn't like what were on the menu. Have you had something to do with this? I think we've been busted. Right, you're busted! No, no, they're not worth it, look! Go on, sling your hook. Oh, what? I'll, I'll call the police. Well, I don't with you. Oh, yeah, like I'm worried. Troublemakers? You could say that. They're the two darlings who robbed the cabin. What on earth are they doing round here? Gunning for me. Gemma gave the names to the police. What, you grassed them up? Yeah! I'm not proud of myself, but when it comes to Rita, all bets are off. They did the right thing. Yeah, try telling them that. Well, it's over now. Over? Hmm. You don't know Zoe and Roxy. They're just getting warmed up. What's the verdict? Superb. Nick? Hey, don't push it. Not that I can take any of the glory. Zidane and Michelle designed the whole brunch menu top to bottom. Mm. She's a talented woman. And then some. Hey, what's all this? Just singing your praises. Huh. Right, well, uh, I've got to go into town, babe. 
Oh, okay. When you get back, I want to talk about revamping this place. Oh, not that again. Can't we just change the name? What? The name change? That's just the beginning. Well, maybe I could help with that. I refitted a gastro pub in Charlton last year. Yeah, well, this isn't a pub. What? Well, so... No, no, Michelle. What? Uh, hear him out. Uh, go on. Well, as a space, I see real potential. Design-wise, what did you have in mind? Uh, well, I always liked the uh, the Art Deco look. Cool. Yeah, I love that whole twenty speakeasy vibe. That sounds a bit expensive, doesn't it? Not necessarily. Hey, uh. I've got a bit of spare time this afternoon. Why don't I stick around and sketch out some basic ideas? I think we're getting a bit ahead of ourselves here, don't you? Free charge, no obligation. Look, it's a very kind offer. It, which well, we're very happy to accept. Yeah, cheers, Will. Thanks, mate. So you, uh, you sure you're all right to come to this barbecue, then? Yeah, 100%. Not too tired. Sarah, I feel great. Just let me check in with Izzy first, yeah? Yeah, of course. I never stop thinking about you, you know. Me too. Hi, Joe. Thanks, I'm glad the client was happy. Another job? No, 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 I'm not interested in it. More money. How much more? We return to Coronation Street in half an hour. I thought you'd want to know. Well, you thought wrong. Oh, obviously. Besides, Gemma can take care of herself. Oh, that, that girl adores you. Oh, please, spare me the lecture, Norris. I mean this. I've got a lot on my plate. Oh, such as? I'm waiting. Jenny's flaming wedding, for one thing. Now you're just making excuses. Why can't you leave me alone? Because, what? Well, this isn't like you. Honestly, you're like a dog with a bone. I, I feel for Gemma, but none of this is anything to do with me. Oh, it's everything to do with you. Gemma informed the police about those two harpies because you had her arrested. And then got her off the hook. And now they blame her and they're going to make her life a misery. Oh, sorry, love. I've uh, come to collect me stuff. Uh, Tim's already taken it to yours. I'm sorry, I think I've landed you in it. Ah, just a bit. Mm. Spoke to Sally. Well, she's had a word. Mm. She mentioned something about you having to sell your things. Why? You're in the market for some ladies' <laughs> shoes. I'm really sorry. Oh, forget it. You won't know. Anyway, it's me that's in the wrong. <laughs> yeah, but why? Because you know, you're emotionally attached to your belongings. There's, there's nothing wrong with that. Well. There is when you're skint. <laughs> Listen, um, if you've got financial troubles, then maybe I can offer a solution. Oh, Dev, that is so sweet of you, but I'm not looking for a handout. I've got a little bit of self-respect left. Well, no, you know, I wasn't talking about a handout. How? No, but, you know, with uh, Chesney off sick and Kathy having to cover for me, I'm kind of short-staffed here. Are you offering me a job? Well, yeah, but only on an interim basis. You know, hours to be agreed, but only if you're really interested. Yes! In yeah, that's really good. That's, you don't want time to think about that. No, this. I don't need to think about it. I need the money and, well, you need an excuse to spend more time with yours truly, so it's a win-win for both of us. That's, that's, that's excellent. That's, that's good. <laughs> I just took pity on you, then. Something like that, yeah. Well, at least you don't have to bang your heads together now. <laughs> oh, all right, go. It was all right, actually. She was really brave. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Yeah, I think I would have struggled to get through it without Gary. I came straight from the airport. Mm, fair play. My mum was so worried about you. Yeah, I know. But as you'll all see, not a scratch on me. Did you uh, have to carry a gun? Uh, no. Did you have, like, an earpiece in? Yeah. 
Was it all like Foxtrot, Bravo, Tango's in sight? Tango means targets. Not exactly, no. OK, I think we should check the barbie. Hang on, two minutes, no. No, no, no. I'll uh, give you a hand. <laughs> things that we need to talk about, don't you? Yeah, actually, babe, it's funny you should say it. It's Toya. Hiya. Um, yeah, all right, then, no worries. OK, bye. I'm really sorry she's asked me to cover. Seriously? I know you've only just got back, but she's been so brilliant with me recently. No, it's fine, you should go. I'm literally going to be an hour, right? It's not like you're going anywhere. Hey, you never guess what's happened. Dev has finally come to his senses and offered me a part-time job at the shop. <laughs> He's planning down, of course, part-time, minimum wage, etc., etc. But you know what I reckon? I reckon he is finally making a play for me. <laughs> well, could at least pretend to be happy for me. I'm very happy for you. If you don't mind, I'm reading. Oh, come on, you're not so annoyed with me. I tried to talk to you and you bit me head off. Well, I didn't do on purpose. Nothing's ever your fault, is it? Sometimes it isn't. Gina, your bipolar didn't prevent you from selling that stuff and it certainly didn't make you lie to me. That was your choice. Well, it's not that black and white. I don't always have control over what I do. Your illness doesn't prevent you from knowing the difference between right and wrong. Well, like I said before, you know nothing about my illness. Granted, my level of knowledge is lacking, but I do know that you're not adverse to hiding behind it whenever it suits you. Is there anything else? Can I borrow your laptop, please? What, so you can buy more useless tap? Not on your Nelly. No, I want to sell some of my figurines and one on eBay. Oh. No, do you know what? I use the one at the community centre. No, hey, no. Be my guest. Thank you. Is there anything else? No, just a bit of peace and quiet. Right, I'll get out your hair. So anyway, I've got uh, Gina to fill in the shop so Kathy can help out more here. Should a clapton. Have you heard a word I've said? Yeah, you've given your girlfriend a job. Good for you. Next. Come on, yeah, she's not my girlfriend. Why would you even say such a thing? Well, she fancies you, don't she? At least that's what Kathy reckons. Let me assure you, ours is a purely professional relationship. Dev, this is me. You should just be glad that someone finds you attractive. She's very tactile. Yeah, well, grab happiness where you can find it, boss. You could end up like me. Come on, things are turning around. Yeah? When? You don't worry about me. I've got more bounce back than a pig on a trampoline. So I thought we could make an afternoon of it. Yeah, I don't know. Well, if you're worried about Gemma lowering the tone, she's already had a marching <laughs> order. Well, I'm not worried about Gemma. I'm just bothered about losing half a day's wage. Why not just pop in on my lunch hour? You can't rush a fitting with Helen. The woman is an artist. An artist who has created a thing of beauty for... another thing of beauty. Yeah, yeah, you can save the sales pitch, Jenna. Oh, come on, you owe to yourself to live a little, Maria. Hmm. I suppose I am old some time off. Yeah, now we're talking. Mm, do you know, it's been ages since I've worn a proper frock. Well, as Alain says, prepare to be transported. <laughs> <laughs> OK, I'll... Uh... Be there in about half an hour. Yeah, see you then. So, I've uh, come up with a couple of ideas. Oh, sorry, mate. Can't really do this right now. Is there a problem? Uh, uh, no, just a um, meeting I forgot I had. All right, I'll wait for you then. Well, don't put yourself out. No, I insist. Besides, I'm uh, in the zone. <laughs> OK, then. And thanks again for doing this. Oh, well, what are friends for? Oh, and uh, help yourself to... You know, whatever. My place is your place. Oh, thanks. I'll, uh, 
I'm trying to remember that. Sure he looks more miserable. You are that disgusting piece of meat. Yeah, well, according to some blokes, I am that disgusting lump of meat. What can I do for you? Actually, it's what I can do for you. How do you fancy some payback? Payback? Well, a little birdie told me you're having a skank problem. It's nothing I can't handle. That's all I heard. What do you want, Rosie? To help. You? How are you going to help me? All in good time. First, I need you to arrange a little meeting. You OK? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Look, I'm not angry that you didn't call if that's what you're thinking. David's got a point. I did break up with you. I wanted to call. Oh, you're home. That's all that matters. Do you want a pint? No, I'm good. Um, actually, I've not had a drink since I left. They prefer you to work dry. Mm, health and safety in a war zone, who'd have guessed it? It's not a war zone. Yeah, it's not exactly Butlins either. Honestly, it's no more dangerous Harry, to me. Please, can we, can we not just, just not talk about it? I'm all shared out. Sarah, we have to. No, we don't. Joe's asked me to go back. What? Leaving Friday. Are you serious? Well, please tell me you said no. What could make you want to put your life at risk again? The only risk is dying of boredom. Gary, I got a letter from you saying in the event of my death. It's standard procedure. Standard procedure for what? I don't even know what it is you do. Because it's not interesting. OK, last trip, in between driving some rich bloke to the odd meeting and dinner with his bit on the side, I basically sat around in a hotel room full of lads playing Xbox. That's it? That's it. Zero danger. OK, if it's not dangerous, then why does this rich guy need security? Honestly, I don't know. Probably to look important or something. But what I do know is that this is the easiest money that I've ever made. I've already cleared Don's debt, so I figure I'd do a couple more trips and we'll have enough for a deposit. Come on, you said yourself that Bethany could do with the stability. This could be the start of something immense for us. Yeah, at what price, Gary? If something sounds too good to be true, it oh, usually nothing is. Nothing is going to happen to me. The job's a doddle. I need more time to think oh, about whatever, it. Whatever, fair enough. I'm sorry. If you're here to beg for forgiveness, you're wasting your time. Yeah, we've got all sorts planned for you. Sorry, am I meant to be scared or something? Thank you for joining us, ladies. Please, take a seat. Who the heck are you? I'm Miss Winter's lawyer. You what? Rosie Barlow. LLB. GLB. LOL. Laugh out loud. Lady of law. Boom! So you've got a brief. Big deal. Uh, please address all your comments to me from now on. Are you responsible for this? Nope. Never seen it before. Don't even know what it is. I must admit, this is a very interesting case. Really? Absolutely. There's a false representation, fraud, defamation of character, and my personal favourite, invasion of privacy. You bluffing? There are two things I never do. One is eat cards after seven, and two, bluff. You two are in serious trouble. So, I've, uh, done some designs. Oh, yeah, sorry, mate. I can't really focus on that at the moment. Well, I take it business meeting didn't go well. Uh, well, it wasn't a business meeting. I had to see my solicitor. Oh? They've set a day for my court hearing. When is it? 6th of September. 
Only the best I can hope for is a suspended sentence. Mm. Oh, it could be worse, given the circumstances. Yeah, I guess. All I have to do is keep out of trouble, which, you know, shouldn't be too hard. I mean, it's not like you're a gangster or anything. <laughs> yeah, I just hope the judge knows that. <laughs> Thanks for listening, eh? Anytime. Oh, and, uh, yeah, about the refit. I think I'm gonna have to put that on the back burner for a while. No problem. Trust me. I've uh, got plenty to be getting on with. But your worst mistake was that bogus profile. You can't prove that the rules. I can't. But an internet protocol trace can. It was just a bit of fun. Tell that to MI5. Basically, you've committed a form of cyber terrorism. Now, seeing as you both have priors... Yeah, for shoplifting. ..and a recent caution for burglary, I would say, with good behaviour, you'd both be out in five years. Of course, if you were to agree to stay away from my clients, and I mean far away... She'll never see us again. She better not. We're so gone. Excellent. Now, apologise. Sorry. Grovel. I'm really, really sorry, Gemma. Whatever. Now, please, vacate the area before I change my mind. It worked! Of course it worked. The complete morons. Hang on. L let me get this straight, right? Your fella has found an unbelievably well-paid job and you want him to jack it in? All right, despite what he says, I think there's too much risk. You know, you take a risk leaving the house in the morning. Well, it's not the same. It's still his choice. Well, no offence. It's not that simple. Well, you know that I'm not the guy's biggest fan, but to me, I don't think it could be any more simple. I think the guy's just trying to provide. David's right. Oh, we're taking his side now. Well, sometimes as a parent, you got to do what you got to do. Exactly. Just give him a call. Oh, fine. Just to shut you up. Um, I really enjoyed having you around here today. Actually. Yes, David, you can finish the rest of my burger. No, I'm, I'm being serious. Mm -hmm. I loved every second. Yeah. I've, uh, I've loved it so much, actually, that I don't want it to end. What are you getting at? Well, I was thinking, uh, if you wanted to, that is, um, maybe you could stay over. If you don't want to, I mean, you don't have to. You know, it's just... Yes, I'd like to stay over. <laughs> <laughs> So Jenny thought we could make an afternoon of it. You sure I wouldn't cramp your style? We daft to eat up. Well, you seem to have everything under control. <laughs> oh, hardly. It was bad enough organising a wedding for one bride and groom. Well, uh, if you need any help, you've only to ask. You are a star. Actually, I've already made you a list. Here you go. List? It's like Magna Carta. Well, I realise it's a little on the lengthy side, but... Helene really does deserve my undivided attention. And who's Helene when she's at home? The wedding dress designer. Just when I thought people couldn't surprise me anymore. I'm lost for words. Oh, now there's a first. It worked then. Oh, I showed them who's boss. Piece of cake. Uh, well, what's, what's happened? <clears throat> uh, Rita provided some legal assistance for Gemma. How can I ever thank you? Well, you can start by helping me with these. No problemo. Anything for the world's best mate. <laughs> you know, many hands make light work and all that. Yeah, I mean, I understand that. It's just, um... Well, Gemma's not actually bridesmaid anymore, so... No worries. What Rita wants, Rita gets. Of course, you could just reinstate Gemma and let bygones be bygones. Hear, hear, Norris. She is, after all, my, uh, flatmate. Seriously? And I'm sure Helen will still have a dress. Fine. Gemma, would you consider being my bridesmaid again? Try and stop me! No kidding. This is the best day ever! Oh! <laughs> Cheers. That's what changed your mind. Well, you want more for Jake and Harry and Bethany, and I respect that. That's for us as well. By the way, no. If it's something that you really want to do, I'm going to be behind you 100%. <laughs> 
Well, better not, otherwise it's going to be you and bodyguard. Go on, no. All right, there's two conditions. Mm. Right, go on, name them. Right, firstly, this cannot be a permanent thing. It's just fast cash, get home. Goes without saying. And secondly, the first sign of danger, you just get yourself out there. Sarah, it's a protection team. The operative word being protection. I don't care. You said the last job was a doddle, but the next one might not be. And well, what's the point in all this money if you're not allowed to spend it? I need your word. You've got my word. Mm. Thank you. Right, come on, let's try some of this. Mm. Cremated chicken mm. with Bethany's. Say hello to my little boy. Oh, no, 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 no! <laughs> what a piece of friend. Actually, I'm really busy, so I'm not going to take no for an answer. So. You got rid of anything yet? Not yet. I'm still working on the ad. Oh, well, maybe I could help. I've always had a flair for presentation. Oh, that's OK. Oh, come on. Let your big sister work on magic. Oh, no. Sorry. All right, keep your hair on. Sorry, you've done so much for me already, am I? I thought you were still cross with me about earlier. As if. Just been straight with me. <laughs> yeah, I well, won't. In hindsight, I could have been a little bit more sensitive. Water under the bridge. Even so, I know it's not easy getting your debts under control, and it's one thing admitting you've got a problem, but fixing it, that's another thing altogether. Well, I had you to guide me. Well, I'm glad you feel like that. Because I truly believe that the best way to help people we love is make them help themselves. Settle back in. Snug as a bug in a rug. <laughs> Except like most gaffs I've lived in, there aren't any actual bugs. <laughs> Thanks again for having me back, Rita. I should never have turned you away in the first place. From this day onwards, my home is your home. Fancy a brew? Go on, then. You've twisted me arm. <laughs> you know, we should be thinking about something for tea. Way ahead of you. How does bangs and mash sound? Smash you. <laughs> Wash is done. Oh. Well, I would have done that. See, the day I can't hang up my own smalls is the day they put me in the ground. <laughs> That's odd. Oh, if there's a pair of leopard print trolleys in there, they're mine. It's empty. That's really weird. It's broke. Or maybe you turned it on by accident. No, it's broke. I'll get somebody first thing to look at it. Right you are, Rita. <sighs> I'm soaking. <sighs> um, I think I might need to um, nip upstairs and slip out of these. Yeah, go for it. Some company would be nice. Company? Carrie, how dense are you? Do you want me to draw you a little picture? Um, um, I think the words you're looking for are oh, yes, please. I can't, Beb. Oh. Um, I need to go and spend some time with Jake. I'm sorry. Forget about it. It's not that I don't want to. Look, Gary, please don't. You're making me feel like I'm desperate. This should fit. Thanks. I don't know what you're missing. Film time next. Tonight, Oscar-winning Eddie Redmayne stars in The Theory of Everything here on ITV. While over on ITV Encore, James Norton and Robson Green star in Grantchester.
Um, uh, there used to be a pattern on that dish. I could live off dal. At home, I grate a little orange rind into the yogurt. Gives it a bit of a kick. I'll try that. <laughs> or better still, come to one of our cookery classes. Anna? Ha. I run the community centre. Mm. Yasmin Nazir. Mm. People don't usually look impressed. Mm. Too busy worrying when I'm going to pounce with my collecting tin. <laughs> I could do with picking your brains, actually. I'm Nicola Rubenstein. I work in youth services. Mm. I'm actually working on a bid. We've got some seed money to open up a youth centre. Where have you got in mind? Uh, it used to be a pub. The Bear and Staff. We've touched Lucky. We've got a builder who's going to do the job at cost. Gold dust! <laughs> Even so, it's going to be a stretch. He's fitting it in around paid work, so he can't give us a start date or a finish date. And you can't complain? No. But he's in that builder's yard from the crack of dawn till 10 o'clock some nights. Um, your knight in shining armor, would that be Pat Phelan? Yeah. Do you know him? Have you parted with any cash yet? Some. For materials. Why? There's something I should know. Hi, Angela. Hiya. I've given her the lowdown. She didn't believe me about that either. Go on, how is Chesney? Well... I, I wouldn't know. Not been allowed near him, his real friends. Oh, that's me. The doctor said he needs absolute rest. He's been in a bad way, but... You know what? He did book up this morning if you want to go see him. If! If she says. Yeah, do you want to come about, I don't know, five? You can't stay long, though. He's just sleeping for England, bless him. I'll book him up. Little Miss Sunshine, that's me. Oh. I hope I haven't yeah, rained on your parade. No, no, no. Far from it. Oh. Forewarned is forearmed. Spend a lifetime on their feet. <laughs> What's up? Is this Jenny's list? Hey, I told you. I'm it yes. with you. Yeah. Uh, listen, I can manage. I'm not helpless. You manage much quicker with backup. What's this then? Uh, bridesmaids fit in with Ellen. Helene. She's the dress designer. She wants the girls to be at Jenny's for a trying on. No worries. You chill out. Spread your trotters round them, eh? Your bunions will thank me forever. Oh. I will text Kate and Maria. Yeah. I'll tell them it's best bras and belly bangers. Right. What time does he sell them want us, then? At quarter to five. What's the matter? If you've got a number, we'll see if we can push it back a bit. Oh, no. No. She's got a wedding on, on Saturday. You know, that celebrity chef, him with the eyes. Jenny's lucky to get her. No worries. DJ Gem's in the house. I spin me plates like I spin me tunes. Never known this place to quiet. I know. Cheers. I think we should make the most of it while I'm on the way with the kids. Yeah, that wasn't my plan. I thought we could uh, go for lunch in town or something. And since it's my last day... Oh, don't say that. I will even let you have garlic mushrooms. Mm. Hey, Kate. Is this going to take long? It'll take as long as it takes. Rita's the mother of the bride. As good as I mean, she should be here. She will be. You've given her a lot to do. Oof. You want to see the list Eve has given me? Oh, it's details. It's Muggins here who has to make all the executive decisions. Should we crack on then, eh, Ellen? Helen. Well, Rita said start without her. Oh, well, if Rita says, I mean, never mind what I want, eh? All right, come on then, the suspense is killing me. What, really? Eva's giving you no clue. No. Right then, come on. 
Eyes closed, yeah? We want the wow factor. <laughs> Who's first? Jennifer was clear from the start. She didn't want matchy matchy. Oh, no, I made that mistake at my first wedding. Beyond twee. So we've gone instead for different shades, but on the same palette. Right, Gemma. Close your eyes. Ready, Gemma? <laughs> Voila. Thoughts. Hit me. Yeah. Well, with, with, with my assets, I thought it'd be more of a bingo top. You know, eyes down, looking. Oh, well, this is sexy, but subtle. The colour? It's like sludge. To be fair, it's more like putty. It's Venetian straw. <laughs> OK, number two. <laughs> Ta-da! Ah, a bolero. Wow. Didn't realise they were back in. Oh, hon, they never went away. While there's bingo wings in the world. <laughs> you saying Kate's got fat arms? There's weeks left yet. Yeah, Helene can completely restyle them. Restyle them? They're perfect. I mean, Rita should be here to see it for herself. <sighs> well, eyes on number three. Ready, Maria? Come on, come on. From Eva, with love. Oh, classy with a capital K. Can we swap? I've never gone full length before. No, you can now. Mind you, to be fair, it wouldn't do justice to my bangers. Please tell me those figurines are flying out. You did say you were up to mistake. You no, know, night times when things shift, all them bored housewives. Fine glass in one hand, mouse in the other. That's my make it to me. Uh, what's the word on the street, Mrs. M? Financial chicanery, sexual impropriety. I must say, I never liked that mayor. Designer suits, designer dog, bargain basement policies. I'm sorry, Brian. Oh, don't give me that confidentiality guff. He's a civilian now, like you and me. You've not heard. I thought you politicos had your fingers on the pulse. Well, we keep each other up to speed normally. <clears throat> well, his deputy's covering till the by-election, but uh, most of the other candidates declared themselves last night. Payday loans, more payday loans, Canadian Viagra. Councillor Jackman. Junk file. I need to get back. <laughs> Anytime, glad to be of assistance. Smile! I mean, what even look is this? Like a Grecian maid? Next thing she'll be wanting me to walk down the aisle with a bloody jug on me head. <laughs> Maria! <laughs> oh, you look absolutely stunning. Ahem! <laughs> and so do you, Gemma. Ah, there we go. It's not round the ankles. I'd say that's bad. Right. Uh, What's up, Rita? You lost something? Uh, just the the the, um, the table. Um, uh, oh! 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 Died to the exact same colour as the dresses. They'll have to be reordered. It's not shifting. And died in 18 days. <gasps> oh, Jenny. Jenny, love. Jenny. Come here. These are well better than the last houses we looked at. No, it's just a semi, but it's just that. Yeah, but it's a brand new semi and it's got a garden and mortgage. And it's off plan, so we won't be ready till next year. That gives us a chance to save them. Ah, easy. Just get a few more assignments under my belt. Oh, never mind that your four-year-old son's desperately missing his daddy. You've been busy. Is that what it takes, Sarah? Quick trip round the Trafford Centre and all's forgotten. The danger, the distance. It's not fair, is it? I'm talking to Sarah. I bought them myself, you cheeky mare. Uh, what's going on? <laughs> Actually, I take that back. It doesn't take a new pair of jeans. It takes a new house for Sarah to sell your son down the river. Gary? Didn't you know? Gary's going back to Ukraine tomorrow to be shot at or kidnapped or worse. What? I said, Gemma, love, accidents happen to the best of us. That's right. I said, one day you'll look back on that and we'll laugh. Right, text me if you want out bringing back, yeah? 
I'll send me ladder if I do. <laughs> Norris. Don't be that. Who then? <laughs> Len. He'll be here home any minute. What lens that? What lens that, she said. My husband. He'll have a word to say about them chops. They're too fatty. I don't think Len's coming tonight. Yeah, you sit down, yeah? I'll be a Len's for you. Oh, would you? Oh, I'm so tired. You know, I've, I've got so much to do. I'm run off my feet. Run off my feet. <laughs> It's not the same. It'd be army, losing Quinny, the PTSD. When you've come this far, why would you put yourself through all that stress again? I'm sorry, are we keeping you? I'm due on a shift. <clears throat> so I might, um... It's nothing like the army. No, you are back up there. No, I'm in control, OK? I'm not just some lackey in a high visit they can send packing when the work dries up. I get to make decisions. People put their trust in me. Their lives in your hands. And that's what worries me. It'll be Jake who pays the no, bride. I'm careful, OK? We all are. He's your son, and he ain't gonna have some new house and a garden to play in in the meantime. Right, so this is jealousy. Oh, come on, admit it. I love Gary. Yeah, this week. Last week, he was out on his ear. Yeah, and I trust him. And if he's telling me that this job isn't dangerous, that he's part of some well-trained team that is giving him some self-respect back, I think we should listen to him. Do you know what? Think what you want. I've got a job to go to, and I'm not a stranger. This has really put me on the back foot. I should have my campaign strategy ready by now. You're seriously going for it, Mayor of Weatherfield? Yeah, why not? Well, Tim would have you guts for garters for a start. Well, Tim would be my consort if I got it. Imagine that on his CV. So you even got a CV? I'd be a good leader. You'd back me, wouldn't you? Pound those streets, deliver a few leaflets. That'd keep you out of trouble. I'd be the Mayor of the people for the people. All the people except Tim, Rosie and Sophie. They say that gold is more flattering to a mature complexion. I'll be digging out the brasso next. Do you know, I know what you're thinking, what is she like, but when I want something, I can't back down. And what Sally wants, Sally gets. <laughs> you screamed. That'd be where Eleven found Barb's corpse. With a slug crawling out of her mouth, of course I scream. Uh, spoiler alert, have you been watching ahead? No, oh, I hate it when Z does that. Eleven. Is it strange to think? How many episodes? Season finale. Yeah, we couldn't switch it off, sorry. Hey, there's all your box set. I told you this would happen. I warned them. My flat, my mates. Except now they're all loved up. I'm the... I'm the coconut in the quality street. Yeah, it could be worse. It could be the bridesmaid in the really bad frock. Oh, wait. You are. <laughs> when were you going to tell me about Calcutta Street? I got talking to Yasmin today. Well, Yasmin's got her own agenda. Wouldn't believe everything you hear on the street. Must have been a blow. Hard to bounce back from something like that. Yeah. It was devastating for a lot of people. You know, I considered doing a flit. But I realised that, well, just would have made me look guilty. And I was not the one to blame. You ask here from the horses. Sarah, I lost all of the deposits on the flats, didn't you? Yeah, 15,000 pounds. 15,000 reasons for me not to sleep at night. Only me and Eileen lost more. You and Jason lost everything. We lost all of Jason's inheritance, our savings, my business overdraft. My so-called business partner, that crook with any escaped with a lot. So ever since then, I've been breaking my back, trying to get back on my feet, rebuild my reputation. It's hard. Really hard. Takes grit. That's the uh, buzzword in child development these days. Teaching kids resilience. Mm. Sounds like you could bottle it. I should have told you about Calcutta Street from the off, but 
I wanted you to think the best of me, you know? Who wants to admit to their child that they're a failure? You're not a failure. No. You're a survivor. Big difference. Hey, I mean that. Big difference. Thanks. I mean, you must know other companies that die. Things, the contacts you've got. I'm all about the quality. <laughs> well, I know, but, you know, force her arm, then. Hint, you'll take your business elsewhere. Jenny, I need you to come with me. Excuse us, yeah? One, the word sorry has still not crossed your lips. And two, I have not got time for your nonsense. Seriously, Ray, don't say that. Because nobody takes you seriously, ever. You might have Rita wound round your little finger, but the wide-eyed act don't wash with me. Out! Complaining, I just. I'm just glad you're here. That looks infected. And it's hot too, look. I feel like I'm compared to that one. What do people think about me? I mean, not you, obviously. You're not my biggest fan, but. People in the neighborhood. Um, a decent bloke. Salt of the earth. Doesn't suffer fools gladly. Always gets his round in. Yeah, can't stand a tight one, can you? Yeah. I think people, people, they respect the way you, you've. You've been knocked down and you got back up again, you know? True grit. Yeah. Pat. Pat, well, you, you didn't come all this way just to ask me that, did you? I need some antiseptic! Please bring it! Pat! Did someone by your cider in black so the visit just popped out your head? No, someone come up. He's gonna understand when I tell him, yeah? He won't do because he's asleep. Gutted that you blew him out. You won't be telling him anything for a while. Sinead! Mind, Gemma. Leave my flowers alone. Watch it. The Asmin will string you up. She's very precious about her blooms. Uh, turn that frown upside down. Babe, I thought we sorted your life out once and for all. Yep. Yeah, well, I'm everyone's football today. Well, feel free to overshare for a drink. My shout. Have you seen me drinking? Well, first round of me then. There must be a website somewhere or a forum. Hashtag traumatised bridesmaids. Mortifiedmatronsofhonor.com. <laughs> if not, you should start one. Oh, yeah, Jenny would love that. Hey, all publicity is good publicity. <laughs> <laughs> Compliments of the chef. Oh. Yeah, I can hear you two cackling from in there. What's so funny? Kate's frock. <laughs> no! Is that you? I thought it was Moira from the medical centre. Cheers. You look like an angry caterpillar. <laughs> <laughs> Right, you fancy another? I'm not twisting your arm. Oh, sorry. Just talk about busman's holiday. I miss pride at the weekend, working at home on my gooseberry. Life's just passing me by. 
Talk about self-pity city. Right, tomorrow night, town. We're sorting your life out. Deal? Deal. <laughs> <laughs> Gemma, if there's something wrong, then just say. I want. It's more than forgetfulness. She gets confused. It's been building for a while now, but tonight it proper upset me. She laid a place at the table for Len. And I didn't have the art to tell her that he was dead. Jose, I'm not family. And no one takes me seriously anyway. But I've my hands up. I'm way out of my depth for you. I think she's gone senile. And we're back for the next episode of Coronation Street on Sunday night at 7. Here in a moment, two amazing kids. They are 9 and 12 years old and care tirelessly for their mum while dad's at work. They're about to get help from Alan Titchmarsh and the team with a new series, Love Your Home and Garden. While on ITVB next, it's all new dinner date. <laughs>